Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the Flare Cup. The Flare Cup it comes from France and according to their website it is made out of 100% medical silicone. I purchased mine off of the Feminine Wear website but I'll go ahead and leave both of those website links in the description below as well as the Feminine Wear website discount code for the month of March which ends next week but I'm sure they'll have a new one come April. Also come April, next week, uh, Wednesday, some of the cups that Feminine Wear um, carry will not be available to be shipped to the United States. I, I don't know if the Flare Cup is one of them, um, but if you're planning on ordering some of the cups there, you should order them quickly uh, just in case one of the cups that you're planning on getting is on that list. And I haven't seen the list yet. I am on her Facebook page and she hasn't posted one, at least not that I saw, um, but it is because of the FDA regulations. The Flare Cup comes in two different sizes, size small and size large. Their guidelines for their sizes are large, are for people who have given birth or who have a heavy flow, and the small are for teens, virgins, young ladies, and people that have light flows. But it honestly depends on your own body. I found that with several of the cups that I have, I'm able to use both size small and a size large. I have, however, heard that bell-shaped, and this is a bell-shaped cup, are um, really good for people with low cervixes. And I'll go ahead and just put up my Diva cup so that you can see the bell shape versus the V-shape cup. So I have a large here today with me, and it is clear. The Feminine Wear website only offers the Flare Cup in a clear. And I have seen the Flare Cups being offered in different colors in pictures and um, videos, but I did read that they took down the colors from their website, and I don't know why that is because I didn't contact the company directly. So the Flare Cup doesn't come with a a drawstring pouch like um, most of the other cups do. It just came packaged in a clear Ziploc baggie and this piece of paper in it that basically says to go to their website to download the English instructions or uh, other languages here. But they do have some information on their website and so does the... Uh, my cell phone, I'm sorry. So does the Feminine Wear website. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. That was one of my sisters. She has great timing, and I think she's just getting back to me for getting back at me for all those times I got her in trouble when we were younger. So anyhow, this is a large, and as you can see, I left the stem intact, and it does have four grip rings on it, and they're really, really raised. Uh, it does have some spring to it but it doesn't stretch a whole bunch and I rather like that because some of the cups that I do own uh, they have really stretchy stems and I'll pull on it and the cup won't move but the stem will already be outside of me so it's nice for me that when I grab onto that stem uh, my cup does come down just enough for me to pinch that base or to insert a finger to break that seal it's a really solid stem and I'll pinch it here and you can see that it doesn't give a whole bunch. Do take care that if you're going to cut this stem off uh, you don't cut down into the cup. The seam on the inside is very shallow so just to be careful I would probably leave at least one more grip or leave a grip ring intact. Right under that there are these other grip rings and they're not complete circles as you can see but again they're really really raised off of that cup really pronounced and it gives quite a bit of sound there um, that is nice for people that need the grip rings to feel um, secure in pinching it that it's not going to slide out of their hands or out of their fingers. So on their website they did describe this uh, finish as a peach skin 
and it feels a little bit like the Maluna TPE. It has that grippiness to it, so if I pull a uh, pinch on it and pull, my fingers don't really slide off. As uh, you can see with the Diva Cup, if I do the same thing, my fingers just slide. Um, I have heard that the, um, sorry, not Maluna, but Fleur Cup is plasticky feeling, and I, I would agree with that. It does have that, that more plasticky feel to it than some of my other silicone cups. I'm trying to make it so you could hear. Uh, it doesn't interfere with the cup. I don't want to say that it's it makes it any better or any worse than any of the other silicone cups that I have, but it, they do they do say that it feels more uh, plasticky. Anyhow, they don't have that secondary rim that I talk about with some of the other cups, and again, I'll just bring my Diva cup in here. This bump right here. Um, it gets a little more firm and then the top rim and that just helps aid in uh, the cup popping open but the flare cup doesn't have that. Right underneath that top rim there are four suction release holes and there's two there and two more in the back. They're not evenly spaced around the cup uh, but if I pinch the cup together they match up. This cup holds uh, right underneath the suction release holes to the top of this stem. It holds about a, a, an ounce, so that's a good capacity cup. I would like to mention that there are seams that start from one side of the cup that go up and around the stem and back down on the other side, and I can feel those with my fingertips. They also have another seam here on the rim that goes all the way around, and you can see it there. And that is um, positioned right where it would be uh, butted up against your body. Uh, usually the, the seam is here on the sides or maybe a little bit below that rim, but this one is right on the top of the rim. So if you are sensitive, just know that they are there. And that is a piece of the, the seam, or, yeah, the seam. It wasn't shaved off before it was shipped out. <clears throat> they do mention that they didn't want to um, mold any letters or numbers anywhere on the cup so that it would aid in uh, an easy cleanup. But these grip rings being so pronounced, you might have some blood get stuck between them and have to actually rub them out as I've had to do with a couple of my other cups. So my personal experience with this cup, um, at first I thought I was going to have problems getting it to open because that's, there is no secondary rim there, but it opened quite nicely and I didn't have any problems. I did my regular punch down fold and it opened really easy popped open. Um, it was a comfortable cup. I, I couldn't feel it and it has a very high capacity so that was really nice. I didn't have any leaks with it and I was very surprised that this stem didn't actually bother me um, when I tried it for both my dry run and while I was on my cycle. I would probably go ahead and cut this stem off just so that you know, if I'm out and about and I sit down a weird way, it wouldn't, um, I wouldn't feel it at all. But uh, I, I didn't have our problems with it being intact. So while I said this was, um, they, I read that bell shapes are good for low cervixes. I do have a high cervix and this cup did work well for me. It was really inexpensive and I'm all about inexpense, but it was um, a good cup to use. I, I did actually like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because there are other cups that I do like better than this, but I would say that this was a good cup. 
I hope I covered some questions you might have had about the flare cup. If I missed something or if you had any additional questions, you can leave them in the comments below or you can find me on Facebook. I'm Red Herring there too. Thanks for watching.